Peace, Autistic Fam. James was created by James here, and today we're actually going to do a three-part pour. The focus is going to be creating that nice marbling effect, utilizing the flip cup and drag technique. If that's something that you're interested in, then stay tuned. And as always, please like and subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Let's get to it. Just a quick tip right off the bat here for you. If you notice on the bottom of this canvas, I'm pointing out four thumbtacks that I have pushed into the canvas. If you're not pouring on a rack or something that has minimal contact with your paint canvas, then thumbtacks can definitely be a great tool because they help to keep the contact away from the surface and your canvas. This is important, especially when it's drying, because the last thing you want is to have your paint sticking to your canvas and to whatever surface your canvas is resting on. Now normally I would edit out any part that has to do with me mixing the paints, but on this one I wanted to show a little something different. When doing this type of a painting, you have to be very cognizant of the color mixing. Especially since we're using black as a highlight or more of an accent in this painting. So I'm using much more white than any other color. And that's gonna help to keep that separation and also give the colors a base for which to, to contrast themselves. So we're layering in each color and every few colors in, I'm adding in a bit more white for that separation. So we're doing a different shaped canvas than I'm used to. I realized pretty quickly that I had not given myself enough paint for this canvas, but when you add a bit more white or any other color outside of your base colors, then you, you, you give that paint another opportunity to move. It kind of encourages that movement. And with this type of a painting, you really do want to encourage as much movement as possible. So just added a little more white to the outside. At one point, I'm gonna add a bit more silver as well as a bit more of one of the golds and we're just going to continue that process to keep that paint moving. And I decided that this is going to be the center piece of the three piece set. So I wanted to have a bit more going on on this painting on this specific panel. So I took that cup and added a little bit more color into it. A um, little bit more movement and then I use my thumb just a tad bit to kind of maneuver it and, and give a little more detail give a little more of that fun to it as you'll see here All right, we're on to the second panel here. So on this one, I'm adding a bit more of that white to the outside immediately. Even though I added some more paint to the cup, I still want to ensure that I encourage more movement on this one. Um, I don't want as much happening on this one, but I do want it to be be pretty detailed, pretty funky on the, on the color distribution. So that's why the white went on ahead of time and you're able to see some of those lines and, and some more of that movement in those colors.
Now for our third panel, we're adding in a little bit more of that white on the outside again. And we're gonna be kind of close to the first, but I wanted some differentiation between each panel. So I'm doing a little bit more pre-movement on here. When you have that paint coming out that cup, feel free to maneuver and add a bit because that's setting the foundation for which the marbling finish is going to be built from. So you're gonna still move the painting as you see here. So go ahead and, and move it around, manipulate it a bit, because again, it is all about encouraging that movement with not only this style of a pour, but also with, with fluid art as a whole. You want that movement, you want that variation, you want that color. This is what we love to see with this style. And here we are with the finished product. Of course, it's still wet right now, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the movement in all of these panels. I think they came out exactly as I was hoping. I think sitting up next to each other on the wall, these will look beautiful. Love the way that the black accents the silvers and the two golds that we have in there. And you definitely can't go wrong with the metallics. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe. I look forward to more interaction with you guys later. Peace.